I have some uh, the unfortunate news. I'm not wearing socks. No. <laughs> Should I go see a doctor? <laughs> because that's... Welcome to Couch Surfing, the show where amazing guests look back at their big roles, their little roles, and everything in between. I'm here with Ken Marino. Ken. Hi. Hi. Hello. Thank you for being here. Well, thank you for having me be here on your couch, <laughs> surfing. <laughs> surfing. Let's watch some TV, shall we? All right. All right. Who's got something to drink? I do. Well, that's Louie. That's Louie. That's a whole group of young kids right out of NYU. I mean, maybe you're... Got their own show. Average age, 20. 22, <laughs> 22, something like that, 21, look at that, oh man, just completely in touch with his instrument there, he can, he uses every part of it. And walk me through how Louis came to be, where did this character come from, how oh, did Louis, you flesh well, him Louis, out? Oh, Louis, well, Louis, so we were these young, you know, so, so, um, upstarts uh, who didn't uh, want to uh, do recurring characters, and MTV was like, you have to do recurring characters, so that was our rebellious um uh, you know, F you to uh, uh, MTV. I don't know why we were doing that. They were they gave us a TV show, <laughs> right. but um, we were like, <laughs> why we're gonna, are you we're, mad at them? We're like, we're gonna do a we're gonna do a recurring character that you only show one time and we'll never show it again. And it's gonna he's gonna say the dumbest catchphrase over and over again. And speaking of catchphrase, we we wanted to say this dumbest uh, catchphrase and that's what we uh, came up with and uh, somehow it's uh, stuck around i uh, i apologize we were young and dumb but i still like it let's keep dipping yeah, shall let's we get, let's dip into something <laughs> let's else. dip into something else shall oh dawson's creek dawson's is that dawson's creek, creek. That's yeah right. joey potter we broke mm, up here because true. i had booked another show i'd rather you was that why yeah really yeah I was going to be on the whole season, and then I booked a... Uh, what show? I think it was called First Years. Okay. It was a series on NBC. The, I, I auditioned for this uh, uh, this show, and there's a lot of flowery language in it. Mm -hmm. And my I know audition, I, know. Um, I don't remember anything. There's not a lot going on in my brain really? at this point. Really? you ever met. You, you're acting uh, like um, su not like surprised, but not really surprised. No, no, I'm genuinely surprised. You strike me as someone who has like a steel trap memory. That's not what that really was. But uh, <laughs> I'm, I had I'm an, not I had, an actress. I had, I had I had an audition for this, mm -hmm. and they wrote the my first line was this like big long paragraph, and I was like, I can't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I can't remember this thing or even like say it right. So I'm just gonna say it over and over and over again in my head, and I got the line down. And now, and that was, I don't know how long ago that show was, 20 years ago? Yeah. I don't remember anything, but I still have that uh, line in my head. So say something uh, bad about um, Judy uh, Bloom. Judy Bloom. Judy Bloom sucks, Well, man. hey, don't knock Judy Bloom. Without her, my younger self would never have been able to decode the random acts of madness perpetrated by that fascinating creature known as the teenage girl. Wow. Thank Slow you so much. clap for that. Thank you. Let's keep dipping. Let's dip. <laughs> What do we got here? <laughs> you know what we got here. Mm-hmm. Who's that girl? That is Kristen Bell. That's right. And she plays... Uh, Veronica Mars. You got it. And that's me. And uh, you play... Her, her, uh, her uh, arch nemesis. Arch nemesis. Uh, a private detective who um, doesn't play by the rules. I'm watching you. He's a real jerk. I don't know. I mean, you know, my I, I saw him very differently. I thought she was a real jerk. I thought her character was the jerk. <laughs> Looks like I'm, like, humping the window pane. Oh, there. You, now, was that choreographed or was that completely improvised? Yes, we had we had uh, several uh, choreographers come in. Mm -hmm. uh, Tommy Tune actually, they flew in from New York <laughs> to um, work with me for several <laughs> weeks prior to shooting. Because if you don't get that right, then well, the you whole do it on scene beat. is torpedoed. Yeah. The thing I learned about dancing is you have to um, listen to the music mm. and dance to the beat. Because if you dance uh, not to the beat. It doesn't look right. Next clip. Oh, I love it. Uh, Macy, we oh, need Oh, yeah. OK, so now we're, oh, hey, look who it is. It's Stormy Daniels. OK, Stormy Daniels, a sex toy in you. And a golden um, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Falca Ballot. award. Ballot. Yeah. I just want to. Yeah, and that's my buddy uh, Mather Zickel, and there's Stormy Daniels. And I forgot that um, I acted with Stormy Daniels, and then, um, you know, she 
she is uh, now back into in, in, into the um, what do you call it, the ether. Yes, yeah, she right? is. Yes, and uh, and um, she's in the headlines. She was delightful back then. Um, and uh, and then I ran into her at SNL <laughs> recently. You did? <laughs> yes, I happened to be backstage at the show where she did her. Uh, she was in the cold open. Yes. And um, what do you say to Stormy Daniels after all these years? Well, you know, it was funny because I went up to her and she goes, "Hey, how are you?" And I was like, I "I'm great. I'm great. It's so good to see you. How have you been?" And she goes, <laughs> "And I'm like, right. Oh, right. Oh. Yes, right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right." There's been talk of a party down movie. Is this happening? Is this not? Please break some news on this couch right no! now. No. <laughs> I've said yes so many times because uh, I thought it was happening, and then it, it doesn't happen. So now I'm going to say no, and then I, th I hope that if I say no, mm -hmm. I'll be pleasantly surprised that it happens. <laughs>and, uh, and she's like, so you better get back into shape. <laughs> no. Well, sort of. That's actually pretty genius. If and that it worked was, out. I lost 20 a, pounds. Are you serious? Yeah. If this was an elaborate ruse to get you to lose weight, that is, she is a diabolical genius. Yeah, she's a genius. But um, no, she wrote this really funny uh, uh, satire of, uh, of, of the Bachelor and Bachelorette uh, uh, series. What was that like? Because, you know, collaborating with a spouse can be tricky. It's the mixing of business and pleasure. But clearly the product is... Well done, my friend. Well, so what I think was the that trick like is just you? listen to your wife. Okay. Who's and funnier, you or your wife? My wife. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Next clip. <laughs> Here comes the lip. Yeah. All right, okay. then I'll shut up. That's uh, America's Ant-Man right there. You've known him for what, 20-something? I've known Paul since we did Wet Hot American Show. Okay. Now, we played brothers in this. And I'm having a, a, a well, temper a tantrum. Here. Yes. I'm, I'm as, uh, this is my favorite move. I always wanted to put this in a movie. And there it is. <laughs> That's a temper tantrum. There's America's sweetheart, I'm sorry. Uh, Jennifer Aniston. Mainlining mimosas yep. so she can handle you. And there's Paul Rudd. What was interesting about this is Paul Rudd was, uh, was preparing for the role of Ant-Man. So he, was, he had shrunken himself down already. So we all had to do that too. He was a little bit of a, prim uh, uh -huh. a prima donna, and uh -huh. so like we all had to be really small. Mm -hmm. So this whole set is a miniature set, <laughs> right. and we're all about an inch tall here. This is exciting. Eastbound and down. Mm -hmm. Danny McBride. You're acting and wearing a jetpack. <laughs> yeah, Danny called me and he's like, Can you, "Would you want to be in this season of uh, Eastbound and Down?" And I just love the show, and I think he's one of the funniest people in the world. I was like, yeah, what's the storyline? And then he just sent me a link to this jetpack company. <laughs> <laughs> no And way. I was like, I'm in. You didn't have to audition. I think I did. You did? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I think I did. I'm not, maybe. I don't remember. I'm not sure. I think I did. Did you? I don't remember. I don't. And. <laughs> Okay, next up. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, he's a little dog. Doggy, he's so cute. <laughs> I love dogs. This is what the world needs right now, the right? The world needs a little dog movie to take our minds off all the crap that's going on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank us. There's Vanessa Hudgens. That's right. Michael Adorable Cassidy. also. Oh my God, adorable! She is something else. Adorable. She is one of the best. Oh, you're not joking. Given all that's going on <laughs> yes. in the world right now, mm -hmm. did you seriously feel like a, a, a movie that provided levity for the world was important to have right now? I needed it. I've done a lot of um, raunchier, R-rated stuff, either acted or written. So 
I wanted to do something that was family friendly, that my, fr um, that my kids could be a part yeah. of. And this movie came along and I just thought it would get me away from all the negative things that are going out there, uh, on out there in the world. You have been extraordinary to work with. Thank when? you so much for being here. Thanks what for you partying. That's over. The party's over. No, I'd like to stay. Let's do all the questions again. Okay, let's do it. Dog Days will be uh, in theaters August 10th. So uh, listen, get out there. Go see it. You're going to love it. There's dogs. There's people. It's fun. It's a feel-good movie, but not too saccharine. It's sweet. It's got heart. You're going to laugh. There's an incredible cast. And thank you for being here on Couch Surfing. We had a great time. And be sure to go to Little Italy and get yourself a... A calzone. Hey, your accent finally came out. <laughs>